make sure to check out easyfoot.com for some cheap and unliable coins. Link in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Userboy24, also known as Dan. And before we do start, make sure to check out App Bounty and easyfoot.com for some cheap and unliable coins. Of course, App Bounty, like I've said previously in my videos, if you've been watching them, App Bounty is a great website on your phone, iDevice or Android device, and you download apps, get free credits, and you can get rewards such as Xbox Live points, PSN codes, Amazon and iTunes gift cards, all for free, and you can use it and buy whatever you want. So yeah, just go ahead and check them out. Use my credit code, HuseyBoy24, as well for HuseyBoy, uh, for oh, App Bounty, of course, not what I just said. But anyway, we got a squad builder. I'm gonna make these kind of cheap coins, Squad builders slash hybrid squads, which are really OP. And we're going to start off with a BPL team, which is a pretty damn good site. I must say, you, there is obviously going to be gameplay at the end. Obviously, we're going to start with the manager, Jose Mourinho. And let's change the formation. Now, this formation, guys, I really do suggest to use it. Because this formation, again, is just overpowered. For some reason, I, I just find this position up oh, this kind of formation really really good and it's the 4 2 2 2 the two CDMs the two cams and the two strikers with the four at the back and obviously the goalkeeper but yeah let's talk about the goalkeeper and who we have in goal is the mighty Tim Howard now you can choose of course Joe Hart which I actually did start to use but I found out that he was awful he just didn't save anything and I didn't think he was that good but Tim Howard guys he is an absolute beast I remember him when I actually got him first time then I sold him obviously the stats show that he's only played one game for me that is of course the truth but I actually had a different cards well of not different but the same cards but I actually actually sold him at the end but this was like the start of FIFA. But he was a really good goalkeeper, I remember. And he still is. He, he does some great saves. And he, I only picked him up for 600 coins. Well, three-star weak foot. We don't really need to know much about that. But 83 diving, 77 handling, 77 kicking, 83 reflexes, 50 speed and 80 positioning. So overall, a pretty decent keeper. He's really overpowered. Trust me, guys. Just use him for one game and you'll notice how good he is. Right, let's move on to our centre-backs. Now, one of our centre-backs is the mighty John Terry. Where the hell is he? There he is. John Terry, 83 rated. Cost me 750 coins. He's played four games and scored one, obviously, from a corner. He's got three-star weak foot and two-star skill moves. Now, let's check his stats. Now, he's got 42 pace. Obviously, not brilliant. That is the downside of Terry. And the other centre-back, which we're going to be talking to, well, not be talking to, but talking about, uh, he's got 47 shooting. 58 passing, 50 dribbling. Now, here are the most important stats. 84 defending, that's that's just tremendous. And 83 heading. And, of course, every time he heads the ball, it's going to go in or on target. It's He's just a danger in the box. And I really do suggest to buy him. Right, moving on to our next centre-back. And we do have Koscielny, the Arsenal slash French international player. I bought him for 900 coins. He's played four games and scored one, just like Terry. And he's got 3-star weak foot, 2-star skill moves. Now, let's check his attributes. He's got 77 pace. Not that bad, but he is. He feels quite slow for some reason. 41 shooting, 67 passing, 61 dribbling, 84... Oh, I mean 80 defending. Where did I get 84 from? Uh, 80 heading as well. So, overall, pretty decent defender all round. Especially with the defence and heading. And again, a very big danger in the box. Like... Let's move on to the next right back, and we have Pablo Zabaleta, the Argentinian. I was going to say something else, and it sounded pretty weird, but the Argentinian international slash Manchester to see right back. Oh, I picked him up for 1k, and he's played four, hasn't scored any, but he bombs down that wing, supporting that right, well, that cam, I guess, and whips and balls and so on, but yeah. Right, let's see his attributes. He's got 74 pace, 56 shooting, 74 pass, 73 dribbling, 83 defending, and 77 heading. Defending is pretty good. His pace is all right, but overall, he's a pretty overpowered right back. Now, on the left back, we have Ashley Cole. 85 rated somehow. Don't know why, but EA decided to make him the highest rated left back, I think, in the game. And he's played like three times this season and been released. 
I don't know how that happened to an 85 rated player. But anyway, he's still a decent player, no doubt about that. But I picked him up for 950 coins for an 85 rated player. He's played four and scored one. You'll see his goal eventually at the end of the video. Uh, is check his attributes. He's got 76 pace. He feels more about of 80 pace. He's got 61 shooting, 80 passing, 78 dribbling, 82 defending, and 71 heading. Overall, a pretty decent left back. And you'll see his goals and the way that he actually scored a goal, which was impressive. Right, moving on to our centre defensive midfielder. We do have Matic, Nemanja Matic. He's Serbian, I think he is Serbian. Let me just check if I'm wrong. Yeah, he is from Serbia. And he also plays for Chelsea, of course. He, I picked him up for 700 coins. He's played four, scored zero, but assisted once. He, he, You know those KSI glitches, that kickoff thing that he does? He works perfectly for those balls over the top, over the defence. He's got three-star week foot and skill moves. He's got 67 pace. Pretty standard for a midfielder, I guess. 68 shooting, 77 pass, 76 dribbling, 80 defending, and 77 heading. Of, of course, the defending is pretty good for a CDM. Because, of course, the CDM needs to have pretty decent defending. But yeah, overall, a very decent player. I really like his passing as well. His passing seems to be around about an 80 or 80-ish. Right, moving on to our next CDMs is Fear Laney. Uh, the Man United slash Belgium International 81 raid. I picked him up for 1.5k. He's played four games, scored one, and assisted three times. As you can see, he's an overpowered beast, but he's crap in real life. He's three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. He's got 71 pace, 72 shooting, 77 passing, 76 dribbling, 81 defending, and 85 heading. Pretty solid stats there. And yeah, he's so strong, he never gets shoved out of the ball. In fact, when he loses it and he's running for the ball, the guy who's running for him, he better run off because he's just going to shove him right to the floor. This guy, Fellaini, just try him out. He is so overpowered in this game. And if you've used him, you'll know what I'm talking about. Right, let's move on to the next player. And it's going to be the Cam. we got Cleverly there. He's actually not bad. I actually tried him out, but here we go. we got Kagua here on... Um, on the cam, of course, a cam position. Picked him up for 850 coins. He's played three games, scored twice, and assisted once. That's some pretty good stats. Of course, there are, all these players have at least scored a goal or assisted, apart from the right back and the keeper so far. But Kagawa here, four star weak foot and skill moves. I picked him up for 850 coins and he's 83 rated. He's got 83 pace, 73 shoeing, 75 passing, 88 dribbling, 45 defending and 52 heading. So overall, pretty nice attacking stats. 83 pace and 88 dribbling, not bad. And yeah, that is Kagwa, a pretty decent play. He's more like a, um, a real life David Silva if you get, because David Silva... I don't know, he just doesn't seem good for me. Uh, I know the good players in the game, they, they're they just awful sometimes in FIFA. I don't know why, it's just EA that make them awful. But pretty bad players, they make him, like, really good. And they... Kagawa is just a great example of this. But Okay, moving on to the next player on the cam position. We have the Aaron Ramsey, Welsh international, Arsenal club probably one of the best players for Arsenal that they've had this season picked him up for 1.3k he's played four games and scored zero and assisted zero unfortunately but he's had some great shots all the bloody keepers that I face in the game is Czech and as you know Czech is overpowered in this game three star weak foot three star skill moves unfortunately he's not shiny I like shiny cards but Unfortunately, he's not for some reason. He's got 71 pace, 76 shooting, passing 81 and dribbling 81. Very nice indeed. 72 defending, not bad, and 62 heading. Overall, his dribbling seems to be about 81. Yeah, his dribbling is actually pretty good. And his shooting is not bad as well. Right, moving on to our striker. We have the mighty Negredo. 84 rated. I actually got him from a pack. I've got the chemistry chart as a finisher. Really works well, I guess. Uh, he's played 19 games. Obviously, I've used him before. Uh, he's scored 15 goals, as you can just see. And 10 assists. Look at those stats there. 15 goals, 10 assists in just 19 games, lads. He's got three-star weak foot and skill moves. 
I think it goes around about a K or so. He's not that expensive. Uh, 74 pace, 83 shoeing, 64 pass, dribbling 79, defending 52, and 83 heading. Overall, solid stats. And just look at those goals and assists that he has in the amount of games that he's played. It's just absolutely incredible. Yeah, just go ahead and check out Negredo. Now, another overpowered striker in this game is Fernando Torres. The mighty Torres, which I was actually doing a road to inform Torres, which I don't know if I'm going to continue with that. Tell me in the comments below, guys, if I should continue with road to inform Torres. But yeah, Torres, 82 rated. I picked him up for 2.7k, but this was like six months ago when I was doing that series. And from then on, which I kept on doing it for a bit. But unfortunately, I stopped for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, he's played 94 games for me. I don't know. When did he play 94 games for me? I don't actually remember that. But somehow he scored 86 goals, lads. 86 goals. Holy crap. I did not know that he actually scored 86 goals and 37 assists in 94 games. That tells you how overpowered this beast is. Fernando Torres. 2.7k that I've paid him for, 4 star week for and 3 star skill moves, 77 pace, 82 shooting, 70 passing, 82 dribbling, 48 defending and 75 heading. As you can see those stats I'm just absolutely speechless about. I never knew he played actually 94 games for my club, he scored 86 goals and 37 assists. That is absolutely tremendous and obviously he links well with uh, Negredo of course. Which is decent. Now what you can do is kind of switch those around. But I don't think it will matter that much with the chemistry links. But yeah, let me just take out this player, Joe Hart. But obviously you can choose Joe Hart in the team. And we get a 69 rated squad with 100 chemistry. It's three stars, but holy crap, this team is good. You'll see some gameplays of the goals that I have scored. And every game I've played... I've won every single one. But yeah, let's just go ahead and add him some subs so we can get the rating back up. So, oh wait, we've already got Kashani there. Let's put Matuidi and let me just add in the subs. But yeah, overall, a very decent player indeed. Well, not player, oh, a bunch of players in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Very, very OP. And this team will actually cost you about 10k. A bit more, a bit less, depending on the prices that you get for the players and depending when you get the players. But yeah, look at this team. It's going up to a like 83 rated, but of course my sub bench is absolutely overrated. Look at it. Eight, well, not overrated, but high rated. 82, 86, 87, 85, 84, 84, 84. So yeah, that's obviously going to push up the rating. But of course, but put the subs in. You're going to get at least a... I don't know, 80 rated team, I guess. Dep well, depends on the subs, of course. If it's a the bronze, then I'm not sure. Maybe about 75. But yeah, overall, a very decent player. Well, not a bunch of players again. Got that mixed up. But yeah, great team. Very overpowered. Just go ahead and get it. You can just win a tournament. A, I don't know, a tournament, a season. Get someone decent in the pack. Buy some coins, obviously, from easyfoot.com. Cheap and reliable coins. Link in the description, guys. Quick promotional there. Uh, but yeah, just go ahead and pick this team up and you will win games. Guarantee it. Just go ahead and put your thoughts of this team down below. Tell me if you've used it. Tell me if you liked it. But yeah, uh, in the next episode, I will be making a possibly a Serie A or a Liga BBVA team. Just like this, 10 to 20k teams. I'm pretty liking this series. If you do like this series, guys, it's cheap. It's just cheap. Squads that I'm making, not obviously just squads, it's going to be hybrid builders as well. Squad hybrids, sorry, I pronounced that wrong. Don't put anything in the comments saying that, but yeah. Anyway guys, my name's EasyPoy24, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay after this. Drop a like if you haven't, and peace out.
Jesus. 